you doing? Hope you're doing well. It's 4th of July. Happy 4th of July. You're not seeing this probably on 4th of July, but maybe you are. I don't know yet. Um, but I hope you're having a good weekend, however your experience pandemic 4th. Wanted to share with you this new book that I talked about the other day, You Are the Universe. It talks about a lot of scientific, deep scientific theory, so it's very thick. It's, it takes a while to get through, so I haven't gotten through much of it yet. But um, it certainly jives with everything that I thought about um, how we're all connected. I think that you have religion and you have science and people think that you can believe in one or the other. I think that's the common mainstream thought process. But I, I just think that they haven't, each of them haven't advanced far enough to finally connect because eventually they will connect, right? There are things that religion believes that science doesn't because it needs evidence and, um, or it needs evidence that fits its paradigm of what evidence is. And then there are things that science believes that religion doesn't. But um, I think the more that we grow and advance in each, they'll eventually have to be connected because both of them are the study of the the universe, um, life itself, consciousness. So, um, so I, you know, I don't know if that'll be figured out in my lifetime, but the pursuit of it is certainly worthwhile. And um, I'm glad that other people are looking <laughs> into it because I know I wouldn't. Um, but it is written by Deepak Chopra and Menas Kafatos. I'll tell you their bios. Deepak Chopra, who you probably know, is an MD, is board certified in internal medicine, endocrinology, and metabolism. He is the author of 85 books translated into over 43 languages, including numerous New York Times bestsellers. That's really impressive. 85 books. He's not even 85 years old. Um, Menas C. Kafatos is a PhD. He's the Fletcher Jones Endowed Professor of Computational Physics at Chapman University and the author of more than 320 referenced articles in 15 books. So these people know a thing or two. Now, uh, I wanna read you a um, passage from page three. I haven't, uh, I don't, this is the only passage that I have from this book so far because um, it is thick, it mostly talks about science. So um, if you're interested in that, get the book, but, um, yeah, there's, it's not like inspirational. <laughs> so I'll start here and they're talking about um, how the universe is one, how you are the universe. And um, this profound knowledge isn't new. In ancient India, the Vedic sages declared, Aham Brahmasmi, which can be translated as I am the universe or I am everything. They arrived at this knowledge by diving deep into their awareness where astonishing discoveries were made. Lost to memory are Einsteins of consciousness whose genius was comparable to the Einstein who revolutionized physics in the 20th century. Today we explore reality through science and there cannot be two realities. If I am universe is true, modern science must offer evidence to support it and it does. Even though mainstream science is about external measurements, data, and experiments, which build a model of the physical world rather than the inner world, there are a host of mysteries that measurements, data, and experiments cannot fathom. At the far frontier of time and space, science must adopt new methods in order to answer some very basic questions such as, what came before the Big Bang, and what is the universe made of? So, good stuff if you're interested in that kind of thing, I would recommend it. So get into the pain stream book. So excited, we're gonna finish this soon. Makes me feel accomplished. God will not look you over for medals, degrees, or diplomas, but for scars. <sighs> Albert Hubbard. The ultimate Hubbard, H-U-B-B-A-R-D. The ultimate ground of faith and knowledge is confidence in God. Charles Hodge, H-O-D-G-E. God is there to meet you in the center of all your trials and to whisper his secrets, which will make you come forth with a shining face and an indomitable faith 
that all the demons of hell shall never afterward cause waver. A. E. Kilborn, K. I. L. B. O. U. R. N. E. God will bless you if you don't give up when your faith is being tested. He will reward you with a glorious life just as he rewards everyone who loves him. James 1, 12. Jesus feels for three, for thee, three, maybe. Jesus consoles thee, Jesus will help thee. In Jesus, the weak are strong and the defenseless safe. They could not be more strong if they were giants or more safe if they were in heaven. Faith gives to men on earth the protection of the God of heaven. More they cannot need and need not wish. I cannot make myself a refuge, but Jesus has provided it. His Father has given it. His Spirit has revealed it. And lo, again, tonight I enter it and am safe from every foe. Charles Haddon Spurgeon. Spurgeon is S-P-U-R-G-E-O-N. These trials will make you partners with Christ in this suffering. 1 Peter 4, 13. <sighs> yeah, and it's, so I said it's the fourth, it's a Saturday. So um, we're gonna start week 17 of the pandemic. And unfortunately, it's getting worse in this country. Not necessarily the New York, New Jersey area, um, but we're all we're all in this together, whether you like to believe it or not. So, um, so keep going. Wear those masks. All right. Peace out.